have a very special Pet Talk Tuesday segment for you because we actually have two segments. Dr. Stephanie West is back from the Veterinary Emergency Clinic on Genesee Street. And um, we're going to be talking about when it's actually time to take your pet to the ER. And a lot of us have, you know, you wonder if something happens on the weekend or at night or during the day, should I just watch it or should I get them over to the, to the clinic? So Dr. West is going to talk about that. And then later in our next segment, Dustin Yearman will join us from the uh, Buffalo um, Pet Shelter with our most adoptable pet of the week. So it's nice to have you back. It's very good to be back. Thank you. And I have, I have to tell you, I brought my, my, my dog over once to the vet emergency clinic on Genesee Street. Your staff, they do a great job. Well, thank you. They really, really care. Mm -hmm. They really, really do. We understand that when somebody comes there, they did not want to be there. They did yeah. not plan to be there. It's mm -hmm. a really distressing time. Yeah, and um, everybody just couldn't have been nicer. So when do we take our pet to the ER? It's a really good question. Uh, some of them are obvious. So for instance, if there's a trauma, if unfortunately your dog slipped the leash, he got hit by a car or something like that, without question, even if it doesn't look like any damage, mm -hmm. you may think, oh, he survived that. Yeah. Have him check because they can have internal injuries. Sure, sure. That makes sense. Bones, you know, could, you know, in their neck could be moved just like any, a person. You don't really know. Okay, trauma. And you have under trauma any bleeding. Yeah, now bleeding is usually fairly obvious, yeah. but sometimes you don't even realize. Maybe there's a spot of blood on the, on the kitchen tile and you right. don't know why. Uh, you should always have that checked out. Uh, bleeding is obviously a sign that something's not right, mm -hmm. but some of it might be more subtle. Like, what if your dog is just not walking quite right, or mm -hmm. your cat is limping or dragging a leg? Yeah, yeah, oh boy. Yeah, we, we, have, we have all kinds of things that could be, and it's not necessarily obvious. It can mm -hmm. be, there may be some tests we have to check. There's a great deal of things that can be. And, and if you do have to run the tests, it seems like they get run faster at the emergency clinic because of the, you know, the possible severity of the problem. We have, uh, right there, we have um, you know, blood test machines, specialty machines, ultrasound, x-rays. We even have a CT machine. Uh, that's amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. So you really can get your answers pretty we fast. Can. Behaving abnormally. Yeah. The... Um, you might think that if your animal is more cuddly than usual, oh, this is wonderful. But if it's unusual for that animal, mm -hmm. it may be a sign that they're seeking an affection because they're worried or scared or hurting. Um, likewise, if you normally have your animals always in your face and licking you and they're hiding or running away or they cry when they're being touched, those would be yeah. signs that something is off that should be checked by a professional. And you know, we've mentioned it on this show before, but animals do not express pain like people do, because in their world, they express pain, they become prey. Exactly. Because of, of you know, I mean, I mean, think about where they came from in the wild. So don't expect that. Yes. They're not uh, gonna tell you what's wrong. <laughs> and cats are notorious for hiding their pain because as a smaller animal, what you said exactly, the prey versus predator, they're both. Right. They actually will catch the mice, but they can be prey. Right. So they do hide pain. Yeah. Um, some dogs are a little bit more vocal. They may, especially if they think they're getting attention, they may, <laughs> whine a little or cry sometimes when they don't need to but it should always be checked out and also and of course as you said painful to the touch cry, crying howling breathing difficulties for sure yes and some of it can be obvious like if they're trying to catch their breath or uh, but it could be a subtle like maybe they're just breathing very shallowly very fast and they don't really want to move uh -huh. and you're debating is that something serious check the, the color of the tongue and the gums yeah. if it's a bluish or a purplish color that means they're not getting oxygen they need to be seen immediately okay that's good to, i've never even heard that one before stretching the neck out when breathing yes is that uh, cats or dogs or both it's actually any animal, you can look at a cow that has problems breathing, they will do the same thing. If you think about it, they're standing on all four legs mm -hmm. and they're trying to make a straight line between their nose all the way down to their lungs if something is wrong, so they stick their necks out. Okay. Um, now, some people may see a cat with asthma. Cats do get asthma, and they'll have seen that at home where the cat crouches down, sticks their neck out, and coughs. Um, all right, that makes so much sense. We're talking about when to definitely get your pet to the ER, okay? Abdominal issues, abdominal distending, um, vomiting, and especially if you think they swallowed something. Right. Now, the distension, it, although any animal with, whose abdomen is growing should be checked, there is a dangerous condition that larger dogs get. Um, a common name might be bloat. It's also called gastric dilatation, volvulus. The, they can expand with air, which 
you all know if you have a little bit excess mm -hmm. gas, it doesn't sound mm -hmm. uncomfortable. This can expand in the course of minutes to an hour and to the point where then their stomach will twist and they can oh. die of it. Oh, so uh, again, we're getting them right to the ER. Ingestion of a substance, even if you suspect, but is there any way to know if they actually swallowed it? It's really, really tough. Um, a lot of times people may have a question like, their medication got spilled, they don't know if those yeah. pills got eaten, um, or they had a bucket of something out and they're not sure if the animal drank it. Right. If at all, if you're sh not sure, always bring it to the veterinarian. Bring the bottle, if you can, of whatever it was, and then we can check and see what we can do. Now, I know that sometimes people say, oh, you always make them vomit. You don't always make them vomit. Sometimes we make them vomit. Sometimes vomiting is worse, mm -hmm. so always have them check with a professional before they decide. I was just telling Dr. West we have a new puppy in the family, and there's nothing worse than looking up and he's chewing, and I'm like, what is he eating? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what it was that, that, that's in there. One it's of the a most scary. The most common thing we see in puppies is ingestion of who knows what. Exactly. Rubber duckies, right. earrings. He's like happy, he's just chewing and swallowing. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I actually had one ate a, a glass once. Oh. Actually chewed a glass. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Gums yellow or pale? Those are problems. So yellow gums would be jaundice. And that can indicate liver problems just like with us. And it can be hard to see, but in some animals you can tell if it's a yellowish tint, that mm -hmm. should be checked. And then pale, you probably know the color of your animals' tongues and gums generally. Right. And if you notice that seems really pale or even white, that could be a sign of internal bleeding. It should be checked right away. All right. Well, there's more reasons, too, why you should get your animal right to the ER. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue this discussion after this commercial, and we're going to add in Dustin Yerman and meet this week's most adoptable pet of the week from the Buffalo Animal Shelter. So we're going to thank Dr. West. We're going to keep her here, and we'll be right back.